Hey everybody, it's Melissa from Big Universe Music and let's do another Hank Williams tune today called The Lovesick Blues. Grab your guitar and let's get started. The Lovesick Blues was originally written as a Tin Pan Alley song and it was performed for a while before it made its way to Nashville where Hank Williams picked it up. And what Hank Williams did was something really interesting. He took what was originally the chorus of the song and made it the verse and vice versa took the verse and made it the chorus. The way that we know it now as an A part and a B part used to originally be flipped around. That's a cool little bit of music history there. Of course we always begin by learning what all of the chords in the song are. This one has a variety of chords so buckle up. We're gonna play it in the key of G. We'll start with our G chord. Another chord that we're going to use in this song is the D7 chord. But instead of playing it in our root position, I'm gonna take the C7 shape and move it up to the third fret to turn it into D7. So that's D7 at the third fret, sounds the same as this. We're also gonna use our C chord. And if you'd like, later on, I'll show you an option to go from C as the bar on the third fret to a C sharp diminished, which is really nice. It's a little tricky again, but you don't have to throw that in there. I'll show you both ways you could do it. We're also gonna use our E minor chord, our E7 chord, A7, and we will use that D7 in root position at some point. <laughs> We're also going to use our B chord, which is a bar chord. And what I like to think of for this, to make it a little bit easier, is just to let you know that you can play it as if you're fingering a chord rather than barring it. Just make sure you're only strumming the four center strings. I think I got them all. This is one I've been playing for a while. I'll show you how I do it. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you wanna follow along, grab the PDF that's listed in the description of this video so that you can watch the chords as we're playing. Let's start with our G chord. Got a feeling called the blues. We're gonna walk up on the fifth string. So from that G, I'm walking on the fifth string, fret two, fret three, fret four, and then with five, I land on my D7. That is the C7 shape on fret three. That's got a feeling called the blues, oh Lord. Since my baby said goodbye Then we hang out here Don't know what I'm gonna do Back to G All I do is sit and sigh Oh Lord Now I'm gonna walk up to my C chord Through that fifth string again I'll play Open First fret Second fret And then land on the C chord. That last long day, he said goodbye. Now back to my G chord for, oh Lord, I thought I would die. And we have E7. And then we'll go to our A7 chord. He'll do ya, he'll do me. He's got that kind of loving. And then we'll go to our D7 chord on the third fret. Lord, I love to hear him when he calls me sweet. Back to G. Baby. Repeat the walk up on the fifth string to the D chord. Such a beautiful dream. Stay there. I've lost my heart, it. We also do our B7 chord in this song. B7 for it seems. When I'm doing the root motion on the bottom, the bass notes, 
you'll notice that I'm plucking one string at a time. Usually it's my fifth and then my sixth string. For B7, I make the chord, second fret of the fifth string, and then I move my middle finger down to the second fret of the sixth string for that walking thing. Seems I've grown so C chord used to that man somehow. Okay, so you could be on the C chord that whole time, or what you could do is a C to a C sharp diminished there. And I would recommend getting there by way of the bar chord here. Used to that man. My C chord is the same shape as the B bar that we talked about in the beginning. But one fret higher. Used to that man some. And then we'll move our pointer finger up and then create a little chord on these fingers with our pointer finger on the fifth string fourth fret somehow so that's nice I've grown so used to that man somehow well I then back to G no I like to walk down here no buddy sugar E7 baby now I'm a7, low, oh, oh, lonesome. Then D7 on the third fret, got the love sick blues. Let's keep going into part two of the love sick blues. We're gonna start with our B chord, and we'll also use our E minor chord, going back and forth between the two for a moment. We'll sing. I'm in love, I'm in love with a wonderful. So that's B. That's what's the matter with E minor. Back to B. I'm in love, I'm in love with an E minor. Wonderful guy. A7. He don't care about. And then our D7 on the third fret. Me. We're going to hang there. For I tried and I tried to keep them satisfied. So you'll notice a lot of the time when I'm doing this song, I'm alternating between the root and the fifth of the chord when I'm doing my boom, chick, boom, chick. And that adds a nice layer of movement in the bass notes as I'm strumming the chords. We've been hanging out for, and I tried and I tried to keep them satisfied. Now we go to the G chord for, he just wouldn't stay. I'm gonna walk down on the fifth string for my A7 chord, fret three, fret two, and open. Now that he's leaving, this is all I've got to say. on the third fret and back to the G chord. Got a feeling called the blues. Oh Lord, walk up to D7. I hate to think it all over. I've lost my heart in B7. I've grown so in our C chord, used to that man some, and then player's choice if you want to go to C sharp diminished here, how, or stay on C, that's fine, then G chord, but I'm nobody sugar, and then E7, baby now I'm A7, low, oh, lonesome, D7, I've got the love sick. Super fun, and that's pretty much it. I did forget to mention that the lyrics I'm singing, I do a lot of Patsy Cline shows and songs. So the lyrics I'm singing are the ones that Patsy Cline sings rather than the one that Hank Williams sings because the Patsy Cline lyrics are from a female perspective and I also enjoy singing it the way she sings. A cool way to end it, if you wanna do a little bit something different there, is to do what Patsy Cline does, which is to change the rhythm of the ending 
I've grown so used to that man. When you get to that part, you can kind of slow it down and add a bit different groove. Let's see if I can pull that off for you. I'll go from the B part. I'm in love, I'm in love with a wonderful guy. That's what's the matter with me. I'm in love, I'm in love with a wonderful guy. He don't care about me. Well, I tried and I tried to keep him satisfied. He just wouldn't stay. Now that he is leaving, this is all I've got to say. I got a feeling called the blues Oh Lord, since my baby said goodbye Hate to think it all over I lost my heart, it seems Here it is, I Lovesick Blues. Can't wait to see you in another lesson.